Good afternoon, my friends, my awesome followers, my fantastic subscribers, and my elite team of members. Thank you very much for continuing to support me on my YouTube journey, on social media. Anyway, as you've seen from the thumbnail, and as I mentioned in a previous morning rant, this is the real Lady C. And I'm dressed for the occasion. I'm not going to talk about Lady Colin Campbell and dress like a commoner. I have to upscale myself. Anyway, Lady Colin Campbell. For those that don't know her, some of you just think Lady Colin Campbell is a YouTuber. She's not. She does YouTube, I believe, to get things off her chest. She enjoys it, like most of us do. But, for those who don't know, she's obviously, if you hadn't already known, a very, very successful writer. She writes like autobiographies of different members of the royal family, royal circles, and aristocracy. Yes, anyway, Lady Colin Campbell. If you didn't know, Lady Colin Campbell actually married Lord Colin Campbell in 1974. Before I was born, I'd like to point that out, I'm still a young pup. Yes, however, however, they split nine months later and divorced 14 months after being married. Now, if you didn't already know, Lady Colin Campbell has spoken openly about this. It's very sad, but she was abused during her, uh, and, uh, and beaten badly by her husband at the time, Lord Colin Campbell. The marriage wasn't going the right way for her. It wasn't a loving relationship, or else it didn't come across as a loving relationship. What started off with bliss and promise ended badly. In fact, she spoke out openly about the abuse she received of her husband, which didn't go down well with Lord Colin Campbell, who then spread vicious lies and attacks to the mainstream media and the tabloids about her, trying to discredit Lady Colin Campbell. Yes, he did. Anyway, this is why today, when you look and you hear and you listen to Lady C, she's filled with a sense of power, a filled with bravery. She stands out. She doesn't like to be spoken down to, like most people don't anyway. Most common sense people don't. And she's very strong. But deep down behind Lady Colin Campbell's really strong exterior is actually a simple woman. You're probably thinking, Trevor, where are you getting this from? I have read up on this. I have watched her over the years. In fact, recently I watched her being interviewed by Shauna, who is an Australian book reviewer. And then I watched her actually on Ava Gardner, Fiona's Live, the live stream. I've watched that. Prior to that, I have watched her with little bits of clips and on where she appears on GB News and news channels to talk about royals. Prior to that, if you want to know if she was fun, is she fun? She's very strict. Go back and look at the archives and watch I'm a Celebrity Get Me Out of Here and you will see how she interacts. She never gives anything away. Never. If you want to know the truth about it, I suppose you may go and subscribe to her channel. Why not? It's free. Or read her previous books, autobiographies. Now, because Lady Colin Campbell has a line should I say, aligned to the British royal family? Yeah, it puts the backup of a lot of royal biographers. You've got a guy out there called Dickie, I'm not gonna mention his surname, and you've got Jenny and other royal biographers. They get really upset. They have disdain, dislike towards Lady C because she releases things before they get a chance. For some reason, journalists that become royal biographers believe that it's their God-given right to get information first. And that's not always a way. Because a lot of journalists put it out in their own perspective to what they are gearing towards. Now, we have seen over the last three, four years, a lot of royal biographers going one way and then going another way. At least with Lady C, she sticks to her morals and she's straight down the line. Now, I've noticed this. Because she's on the peripherals of the royal family, she gets information and she releases the information. She drip feeds that information towards me towards you, towards the media, and she lets it out slowly but surely. She's a trusted, credible source. Now, I have seen this, and this is what makes it quite shameful, not for Lady C, but for other people. I see other YouTubers putting her down. Not all putting her down. She's not credible. She's not this. She's not that. But you, the subscriber, are listening to YouTubers 
that have no connection whatsoever to the royal family and you're believing the bullshit that they put out. Now, there's other YouTubers like myself and a few others who listen to Lady C and we get snippets there, which we go, oh, that ties in with this and this and this. And we're able to do videos based on the stuff that Lady C is saying. Now, if you cast your minds back to the passing of Her Majesty the Queen Elizabeth II, you will remind, and I will remember you, I actually snapped, didn't I? Because I am extremely fond, always happy and always will, with Her Majesty the Queen. I've met her certain, a few occasions. I've had conversations with her. And I served her, Her Majesty the Queen, hers and successors. And during the time, it was, I'm going to be honest, I was a little bit vulnerable. And I called Lady C the C word. And everyone knew about it. Now, am I going to own that? Of course I'm going to own that. I'm going to own that. I did say that. I did. But there was mitigating circumstances. I have since apologised to Lady C. And I'm hoping that we've all moved on. But at least I can own that. At the time, Lady C released information to say that the Queen had passed. I was fuming. Why has this not been on the TV? It's not been in the mainstream media. It's been anywhere. How does she know? How does she know? She was let know. And do you want to know why she was told that? In my opinion. Because of the rumours and the hateful stuff going out from fans of the Sussex squad. They were destroying the credibility of the Queen. There's a doppelganger. There's a fake. There's a, the, the stories were horrendous coming from one side of the camp. And she crushed that. But not only did she crush that when she released it. She crushed me and a few others. So there we go. So when you're watching your YouTube channels and you're hearing royal stuff, look at the source it's coming from. Anyway, listen, thank you for watching my video. Thanks for sticking with me. If you haven't subscribed, why not? It's free. If you haven't subscribed to Lady C, Fiona, Graham, and a few others, Sue Smith, why not? It's free. Have a wonderful day, people. And remember, stay safe.